Pachyderm Labs, from Pachyderm Consulting. Hi, this is Patrick here at Pachyderm Labs with another video review. Today we're going to have a look at the Nest Learning Thermostat. Nest Labs, founded by one of the creators of the iPhone, has brought technology and features that are commonplace in modern smartphones to the lowly home thermostat. Creating a device, they say, can help more efficiently and economically control your home heating and cooling. In doing so, they've also managed to raise the asking price for a thermostat to a hefty $249. The main idea of the Nest is that by adding Wi-Fi and an array of sensors, it can maintain the temperature of your home as you like it without a lot of effort on your part, all the while doing its best to save energy by learning your everyday schedule. This is accomplished by several means. The motion sensor monitors activity in your home to determine when you are away and keeps the temperature higher when on AC or lower when on heat at these times. The thermostat remembers your activity as well as how you manually adjust the temperature and it uses this data to automatically adjust the heating or cooling of your home uh, to suit your schedule or com and comfort. Additionally, the Wi-Fi connection allows you to connect to the thermostat through the Nest website or a mobile app to adjust the, the temperature or put it in away, away mode manually. The Wi-Fi connection also allows the thermostat to get your local weather from the internet so that its automatic adjustments can be shifted to accommodate daily changes in the weather. So let's have a look at the Nest and its features and see if they can pay off in heating and cooling your home more efficiently. So before purchasing a Nest, it's wise to visit the Nest website and walk through the compatibility check to make sure that the thermostat will work with your HVAC system. Once you've checked compatibility, you can purchase Nest online at their site, uh, at some Best Buys in-store, and as of recently, uh, Lowe's stores and on Amazon.com. Uh, for appearance, the Nest itself is a, uh, it's a circular thermostat, obviously, uh, it's a nice stainless steel bezel. Uh, the back is a uh, acrylic made to look like to match the metal. Uh, front is a nice heavy, uh, kind of feels like glass, I'm pretty sure it is, but it's not a touch screen. The entire bezel portion of it is one large button that you press to access menus. Um, aesthetically, it's sort of a cross between your typical old school rotary thermostat and HAL 9000 from 2001 A Space Odyssey. Installation is easy. Shut off the power to your HVAC system, remove your old thermostat, mount the Nest base, which has a handy built-in level, hook up the wires to the base, stripping a bit more of their insulation if necessary, and snap on the Nest thermostat. It's about 15 minutes work if you're handy with a screwdriver and wire strippers. Once the Nest is installed, it'll walk you through a simple setup to connect to your wireless network and check for updates. The Nest will verify the features of your HVAC system by the wires you've connected. Then you'll enter your zip code and answer a few questions about your HVAC system, and you'll set some preferences for the maximum and minimum temperatures that you'd like it to use while you're away. And that's all there is to set up. So now that your Nest is installed, how do you use it? Well, you just set the temperature and you walk away. This way. <laughs> Uh, you may find yourself fiddling with it a little bit in the beginning, find it has adjusted the temperature away from what you consider comfortable. That's okay, you just adjust the temperature again. After a few days, it'll learn what you like. One thing to note is that you'll have to do this initial learning process once for cooling and once for heating, depending on the season. Uh, also, another thing to note, the Nest is a learning thermostat, not a predicting thermostat. Here's a quick story. The day after I installed my thermostat, my daughter was born unexpectedly early. Uh, after a couple of days in the hospital and a few weeks visiting our daughter in the NICU, when we were home for good, our nest had a totally incorrect idea of our cooling needs, uh, and after a few days it didn't seem to want to change its mind about it. Uh, it thought we were away all the time. Uh, I ended up setting a manual temperature schedule that ran for a few weeks, but I, I've since switched back to learning as the nest took that manual schedule into account as learning data, and now is a better idea of how we actually want to cool our home. Uh, as previously mentioned, the Nest website and mobile app allow remote monitoring and manipulation of your thermostat. Uh, also for control freaks and statistical geeks, there's an energy history where you can see how long and when your HVAC system has been running uh, each day for the past 10 days. So what's my overall impression? Uh, the Nest is slick. It's definitely the best looking thermostat out there with a user interface head and shoulders above all others. Um, there are 
some other really fancy uh, expensive thermostats, but they usually need to be uh, installed by an HVAC or a home automation professional and are often very uh, confusing and not very intuitive in actual use. The Nest will get you many of the features of those, uh, and in some cases more, uh, in a much simpler, easier to use package that you can install yourself. As for the learning features, I'm not totally sold. Uh, like I said, I know that my learning was screwed up by my schedule uh, the first few weeks, uh, first few days after installation, but it didn't seem to recover well after that. The manual schedule I set worked well, and while a little clunky to set through the website, I could set it through a website. You can't say that about uh, many other thermostats. As a whole, the website and mobile app are simple enough to use, but could probably benefit from a bit of a redesign to make accessing features uh, a little simpler and allow more screen real estate for the data like energy history and the space you use to set a manual schedule. The away features and the remote access are great. Uh, it's nice to know that if I go on vacation, I can set the HVAC system to a temperature that saves energy and then remotely crank it up when I'm, we're on the way home so that it's comfortable when we arrive. Uh, energy savings, jury's still out on that one in my case as well. Uh, I've had the Nest installed for a few months as we enter the heat of the New Orleans summer. For the past few months, my electrical bills have been about the same as they were last year uh, before I had the Nest. However, we're keeping the house about two degrees cooler on average for the sake of the baby, and we have some new electronics and appliances, and it's really been appreciably warmer this year compared to last. So it's hard to really say um, you know, what impact the Nest is making. Also, considering I work from home, the Nest doesn't exactly pop into a way mode all that often. The energy savings will be something I'll have to determine uh, long term. $250 for a thermostat is still a lot of money, considering most people have simple $25 to $100 thermostats that they don't even think of. I recommend the Nest based on its design and remote management features, uh, but with a caveat that I'm not totally convinced on its energy saving features just yet. So if you're buying it to be green, it might not be what all it's cracked up to be. I'll be sure to check back in after the Nest has had a full year of cool cooling and heating my home with further impressions. Thanks for watching.